Hello generals and welcome back to Zero Hour 1.04. This is your host Jundi and we're here today once again in the second round of the Winter Classic 2017 tournament hosted by Lost Hero in Orange. Okay, our players for today are going to be Boyka as our infantry general playing against Salvaiso as our tank general. So we do have infantry versus tank, blue, uh, sorry, red versus blue and Boyka versus Selvaizo. This is Selvaizo's second time in the tournament, so it's actually his second round. Boyka, however, got a free pass from round one, uh, so it's actually his first time he's playing in the tournament. And the map for you is Snowy Drought. Uh, God Drought, but Snowy version. If you don't know the difference, um, just this part here and that part there. Slightly a um, bit more room over there, uh, so that GLA supplies can be built over there. And I think over here and uh, here so you can't get past but I think you can get past it I can't remember to be honest I've not seen any units go that way yet as well okay so we do have bike over here going with a bunker which uh okay bunker over there so you're going with one barracks one war factory and where the doors are gone there should be going for a third supply very soon if you don't need the barracks and over here we do our salvaiso going for a bunker as well yeah bunker and over here maybe another bunker uh not going for the barracks okay oh poor kagas uh run over okay tank to coming on this side biker got the cash for a supply center but for some reason he's going for another bunker okay as an infantry general I'm not so sure why he's going for a bunker straight away um, I don't know. Okay, so um, we've got a push of tank hunters over there for the outpost. Uh, biker going with that and with that one uh, over there as well, which I'm still confused. Uh, why are you going for double bunker? I uh, expected from tank over here. Well, even tank didn't need it to be honest, but uh, yeah, it'll help you. Okay, the Gatling tank has to be careful. Good play there from Salvaiso, stopping the Gatling tank. And now sending in the tank hunters maybe. And I think boy could probably go and Eva can get into there. And let's just see. Let's just see. Nope, he's actually going straight for the bunker, which is going to be a mistake from him. And he's going to lose his units. And Gatling tank does go down. Okay, Gatling tank goes down. Mini gonna just stay alive. And it is actually heroic. Goes into there. We also have another outpost coming down over here. Please don't run. Very good, very good. And Boyka has now transitioned over, or actually moved over to three supplies. And Salvaiso is already on three supplies. I'm going for tech as well. Okay, so we do have an outpost coming into the base of Salvaiso. Salvaiso in big trouble now, unless he can stop that outpost, but he can't. Dozer is going down. Poor Dozer. GG Dozer. And uh, yeah, Dozer going down. And cancel on the prop. And Splash is over here trying to do some very nice play there from Salvaiso. Splash damage onto. Oh, even better play from Boyka. Okay, Salvaiso has to be very careful. Please split your trucks up. Split your trucks up. They are going to die. Oh, oof. That was close. Not so sure why he did not split. Anyway, we do have another outpost coming down. Dragnet coming down. Second War Factory. Nope. We're going to see propaganda. And Lotus, probably. Okay, so a lot of tank hunters over here from Tank General. And it seems like he's got more tank hunters than the Infantry General. Right, right. So, Salvage over here. Got, already got the capture upgrade. I'm going to take the oil and the oil refining. And also going to take the fire base. Uh, sorry, artillery platforms. And also the reinforcement pad. Uh, and Boyka should know about this. He should get a lot of very soon. He's got ECM there. He's got yeah, enough cash. Yep, yeah, awesome. there's Lotus. Just as I spoke. Uh, dug down over there now. Ooh. Just in time, captured the artillery platform. And artillery platform can actually still shoot. Okay, nice. Got in range. And now artifact from shooting at the bunker instead. And we do have a nice army over here from Salvaiso as well. Ooh, ECM tank. Very lucky over there. And I did from taking uh shooting and uh, ECM taking some damage over there. Red guard does go down. And his army now taking the damage from the outpost. 
Okay, drunk tank, just take out the reinforcement part as well. You can buy some uh, XP. Ooh, good kill over there. Okay, so Inferno Cannon is there. I also got MIGs. I'm still, like I said, I'm not so sure Biker did not go super aggressive at the start with the outposts. I got one MIG in the air and doing some damage, taking out one tank hunter only. But when you do get um, Emperor tanks, then it can be quite a problem for. Um, Oh, nice kid over there. Got about three tank hunters there, I think. Yeah, three. Or oh, four. Okay, four. Uh, when you get Emperor tanks, then it's going to be quite a problem for infantry. Unless Super Lotus just help out. And oh, the Lotus of Selvisor just went down to mines. I can't believe it. How can you not see <laughs> the mines over there when you got Lotus? Okay, so Red Guard taking out another tank hunter over there. We also got Mig over there for Selvisor. Um, yeah, when you got Emperor tank, then it's quite a problem for infantry. Uh, unless Super Lotus just come and uh, shut it down. But for some reason, Selvizo is not doing anything at all, which is not a good thing. Okay, so we've got another Lotus over here for Selvizo, and only just um, did not detect the Lotus of Biker. Okay, so Salvizer just see this now and Dragonite over here gonna do some damage on this bunker. Yep, oh it's not close enough, so it might not actually do the damage. Uh yeah, it's still gonna do the damage. Yep. We also got a second dragon tank over there from Biker and the MiG does go down to the outpost Vodge over there. I did platform doing some damage and there's Lotus also here ready to capture. Uh Lotus of Salvizer now being detected. Inferno cannon might just go down. MiG now here doing some damage. Uh I did platform doing some damage as well losing one unit so far uh salvage is still staying alive and in the meantime we do have a drug knife over here from biker and no capture yet on the oil okay so emperor tank now coming forward finally ecm tank going straight into death not a good idea to go into death uh and emperor tank doing some damage on the apples very nice over there uh should we take all this out we do here capture no uh, okay not capture so, mind to win that fight, we did lose the war factory and also uh, the barracks. And now he's going to lose the supply center and also the power if the mix don't come this way. And the Argonian Lotus actually capturing the oil as I speak. Uh, big damage over there for Salvaizo, losing everything uh, apart from this one. Emperor, please don't lose the ECMs. That it will not be good. Um, oh, unfortunate over there. Anyway, Lotus now capturing over there and finding drug tank does go down to the MiG. And Neil takes out the power as well. And Salvaizo now in big trouble. He had a good upper hand over there. Upper hand. Uh, okay, Salvaizo on 2k. And Biker on nearly 5k. Oh, Mix going down. No, only one goes down. Emberton now being shut down by the ECM, which will. Oh, no, no. Big problems over here for Salvaizo. Gonna lose the Emperor in just a second. And uh, yeah, bye bye, Emperor. Seven and a half K for Biker though. Um, okay, so command center is up. Lotus now coming towards the war factory. Red Guard gets taken down. Migs doing a bit of damage on that Inferno cannon. Bit of an overkill. Okay, Lotus now here, ready to capture or maybe take the cash. I don't know. Migs in the air, going down. And Cat Bomb now coming through over here. Instant death. Ah, I killed Salvaizo as well. You are victorious. Okay, Salvaizo goes down, Biker goes down, and that's GG. Okay, so that puts the score 1 0 to Biker. And let's move on to the next game. Moving on to game 2 on Snowy Drow, and we're here with Biker as tank general, playing against Salvaizo in pink as infantry general, so Biker in red, and Salvaizo this time in pink. Um, let's see what the players are going to do. Same, the enemies from last game or their own tactic. Uh, looks like Selvizer is going for three dozer rush. Like he did. Nope. I thought he might just do what he did in round one. Um, with the super dozer rushes, but he's not doing it this time. Boyka actually going with three dozers instead. 
and going with super dozer rush as exactly what Salvisor did in round one and boy could not go and do that with a wolf actually somewhere around here uh supply center going up supply center going up and a dozer in just a second and there we go dozer any second now there we go wolf actually does go down and looks like the is gonna be in trouble unless you just send the first unit over here um no vision yet Construction is complete. And Biker goes up and then Salvisor goes up and Biker only on one war factory. Okay, one war factory, nothing else at all in its base. So you're going to be super careful and gonna to have to wish that this works. Also got um barracks going up, very good idea. And over here, doors are going it's forward. It should going. make a barracks over here instantly. Because there is gonna be something coming out very soon. We do have the first dragon tank and dragon tank over there from Salvizo. Who will see the dragon tank in just a second? And yes, he does. Biker should see that dragon tank as well if he is paying attention. I also got doors are going up there, doors over here. And why this doors are not doing anything at all? Because Ansel Visor is going defensive. Okay, so all he has to do is rush forward with units. And there we go. We've got Whoa, look at that wall factory there from Biker. But Sal Visor now in big trouble. Doors over here as well. Um, tank Hunter should be shooting the outpost. But it isn't. And the Tank Hunter does go down. All Sal Visor has to do. Nice, nice. It's going to take. Oh, no, it doesn't. Uh, Sal Visor is going to lose the game instantly. All he has to do is send one outpost down to the base of Boyka and uh, he'll be on no cash. Okay, Dragon Tank does go down. Supply Center will stay alive. The Dragon Tank is still alive though on Salvizo, not denying it. We also have Dragon Tank over here on the left hand side. Uh, Supply Center does go down. Uh, actually gets sold, but it will go down anyway. And uh, Outpost staying alive. Batmaster here as well. Uh, Barracks over there. And Dragon Tank now going to the uh, left hand side of. Salvizer's base. Farmmaster goes down. Outpost goes down. And Salvizer's gonna go down. So quick game. GG Salvizer. Good try. Yeah, if he if he just sent one outpost down, um that would have hindered Boyka. Okay, so that's the last building for Salvizer. And uh that's GG for Salvizer. Actually, got second building now. One and a half K. Um, gonna try to destroy the dragon tank over there, and that's it. GG. Salvizer surrenders. You are victorious. Okay, so that's two into Boyka. What a fast game, especially compared to the first game. And let's move on to game three. Here comes game three, and we are going to be on cold territory. Cold territory in the map, and players armies are going to be Boyka's infantry general once again, playing against Salvizo as USA. Okay, so we do have a USA over here versus infantry. So we've had infantry so far three times, and we we'll also get a fourth time in the next game, and maybe we'll get in the fifth game as well. I don't know. Uh, spider in there from Salvizo, and uh, double supply. Over here we do have one supply and also barracks first. Maybe he wants to guys on this. Fine in just a second. Uh okay, so we do have a minigunner there. Going for the oil capture, maybe. No, nope, tank hunter over there. So got tank hunter over there, also got a minigunner. And another tank hunter. So it looks like he's going to be garrisoning them buildings. I thought he might be wanting to go with the helix. Maybe that's why he made that all them. But anyway, we'll find out very soon. Uh, this time we might just see a bunker over here, and uh, it makes sense to me. But we'll have to wait and see. So we do have barracks over here from Salvizo. We're going to face the mini gunner, and the doors should be able to run over the mini gunner if he's paying attention or oh, not. He's not paying attention. Going straight into the ranger. No, nope, going straight through the barracks. <laughs> the minigunner just walks straight through the barracks. It's a ghost minigunner. And actually going to try to get into the back. Very nice play there. From Boyka if actually gets into there. Okay, Tank Hunter getting into there. I also heard, uh, yep, outpost. And got Tank Hunter over there. Let's just see. And the minigunner actually gets in. I don't believe it. 
Yeah, minigunner. Okay, so we do have the first one over here from uh, Salvaiso. Doing some damage on the Dozer, but it's going to go down to the tank counter. Takes out the Dozer, but does go down itself. Unfortunate over there. If only got into the supply lines of Biker. Uh, but now we do have an outpost coming through. Good evac over there from Salvaiso, paying attention. And good laser lock over there, but good evac from Biker as well. Uh, Salvaiso does lose that one. Oh, big problems over here for Salvaiso. The look at that range. And yeah. Okay, so we've got a missile defender just sitting inside there doing nothing. And I've got an army of bikers coming forward. Well, an army of infantry units. Bikers army. Okay, maybe we're going to see flashbangs. Still no flashbangs yet. And biker retreating into here, which I don't think is a good idea. Unless you checked for flashbangs. Oh, poor Humvee goes down instantly. And so does the next one. What is Salvisor doing? Uh, good evac over there and uh, more rangers go straight to the why, why are they not attacking I have no idea when the war factory will be going down very soon we'll also have a minigun shooting over here taking out the Chinooks nearly and uh, tank is now taking out the Humvee no problem whatsoever next Humvee will go down yep and didn't lose a single unit to that Humvee and that's already GG for Survivor once again what a fast kill Okay, so fast games. You are victorious. And uh, Biker wins that as well. That puts a score 3 0 to Biker. Let's move on to game 4. Now, moving on to game 4, and we're here, of course, on Cold Territory with our players Army Reversed. So, Biker as USA and Salvaiso in green this time as infantry. So, infantry versus USA, USA versus infantry. Spy drone has been put down over here on the left of the base of Salvaiso. Uh, Salvaiso is going for double supply first. Okay, double supply first. And over here, we do have Biker going double supply as well. I uh, still got his command center here. He's waiting for the scan. Okay, there's a scan and he sells the command center. Yeah, that one's oh, done. Finished. And double Chinook, uh, War Factory, Barracks, standard stuff. Over here, we do have two supplies over there. I uh, should see War Factory very soon. Barracks all the way over there. Uh, just build it over here. Nope, over there. Okay, and the War Factory going up as well. So unfortunate there for Biker, but in the War Factory, right under the spy drone, more or less. Uh, so the outpost will detect it and take it out. Okay, so barracks is up, but in, at the same time, we do have the war factory and uh, barracks up for Boyker. So let's see. Um, missile defender, Humvee. Send the first Humvee. Yep. Send the first Humvee, just one missile defender. Maybe just for the drop up? I, I don't know. Maybe going straight for the base. Try to get as far forward as you can, but we do have doors over there, which will now go down to death. Yeah. Uh, no, it won't. But it's a good idea. Just carry on going. Don't wait for it. Got a minigun over there. Going to go down to this one Humvee and one missile defender as well. Uh, next Humvee is going to go on the left-hand side. We do have a war factory over here from Salvaiso. Quite late, I'd say. Uh, I don't think Boyka should have retreated for that dozer, though. Should just try to get straight into the base. He would have probably got in as well. Uh, we're too late now. Four minigunners over there. And got another four maybe on this side. So Humvee is now coming this way. And the other Humvee is going home. Uh, and we've got three more Humvees over here. The war factory is now going up. Humvee going straight into a mini uh, troop call, which is not a good idea. But the troop call actually goes. Ooh, killed the Humvee first. Fortunately, there, Dragnet also clearing out the building over there. We do have three Humvees over here. And Boyka does see the, of course. Oh, well, he can't see it now anyway. Dragnet over there going straight down and the war factory gonna have to be sold. Please sell the war factory. Uh, still no sell. Still no sell. Ah, oh, big loss over there from Cell Viso. Within two thousand dollars early on in the game. I do have eight infantries, uh, minigunners moving forward. And Dragnet also here gonna face Ombi with Tommy's house and a laser locking just a second maybe. 
Yep, they lock and they lock did it even happen and the drug tank went down. Okay. So we do have the doors are coming forward once again Shoot to build another war factory. <laughs> and all the mini gunners with random waypoints. Okay, war factory going up once again. And Boyka does not see it. But it will do once again. It might just go straight. Yeah, he's gonna go straight into the war factory. Uh, there we go. There's the vision. Uh, mini gunners going down over there and just doing a bit of damage to the Hellfire drone. And uh, take out another Hellfire drone. No good at all. Take out Hellfire drones. Uh, troop call is trying to get in from the right hand side this time. And Biker does see it. Uh, looks like he's not. Yeah, okay, there we go. Finally realize I'm going quick evac, quick evac. Oh no, evac over there. Nice run over there from. Actually, didn't run it over. Fight run him over. Okay, so War Factory is up. Dragon Knight should be coming out hopefully very no soon. Let's just see. Um, no, we do have the army of Humvees here from Biker. And the War Factory instantly going down once again. Only managed to make one Dragon Knight just like last time. And uh, Salvaizo in big trouble now. Although the tank hunter there should be coming on the left hand side. Dozer goes down. Does he have another Dozer? No, the last dozer, all the tank hunters are moving to the left hand side. And one Humvee will go down instantly. Yes, it, no, I won't. Yes, no, yes, it does. Uh, ambulance now running over all the tank hunters. And we've got another outpost coming out. And a GG for Salvaizo. What a fast game once again. You are victorious. Okay, that puts the score. A nice formation over there from Boyka using the X button uh, to finish off in style. Okay, that's 4 0 to Boyka. And you go through to the next round. Not so sure who he's playing, but you can see in a few seconds once um, the screen goes off and the scoreboard does come up. Right, anyway, thanks for watching. This is your host, Jundi, and see you in another video.